What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Halloween Cup as it is dropping later today, um, October 15th at 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Niantic Time basically, just like all other events. It's kind of weird that it's happening in the middle of a rotation, but we'll roll with it. So if you guys haven't looked it up yet, the Halloween Cup is going to be obviously in the Great League right here, and it's only going to include Poison, Bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy type Pokemon. Now this does allow you to have dual types. So if you have a dark, you could have a dark flying like Mandibuzz, for example. So dual types are allowed, but it has to have one of these typings here. Now, of course, pvpoke.com is always on top of the resources. So you guys can head over there to check out the rankings. And it comes to no surprise that we have a lot of poison type Pokemons in the top meta. Remember, Poison Fang recently got that update, which made Nidoqueen and Golbat extremely strong. Mandibuzz Buzz is obviously going to be very strong in this meta and as well and same with Azumarill both XL and normal one which is a bit farther down but the Azumarill's have a lot of targets on its back so this meta is shaping up to be a lot of double typings in the back so um, you know double darks double poisons double fairies what have you to draw out that one counter that may be out there so I wouldn't be surprised um, to see a lot of Nidoqueens Queens and Golbats on the back line or Umbreons and Mandibuzz on the back line. Um, but what's great here as well is a lot of these Pokemon we have already invested in for previous cups, which is why not only they're they're good for Great League, but they're good for specialty cups, especially stuff like Golbat, Nidoqueen, um, Crustle, which was unique in last year's Halloween Cup. If you were around for that, Crustle was an absolute monster. It's looking pretty strong here as well. Able to lock down some of the key meta Pokemon that we're going to see, such just Mandibuzz, Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Marowak, Golbat, and Frostlass. That is a good lockdown. Plus, you can still do quite a bit of damage um, against the things you would otherwise lose to um, if it's neutral damage right there. But yeah, there's a lot of fantastic Pokemon here, so I suggest you guys come in here, take a look at what you have on your roster. That's what I would do first, is kind of scroll through um, the rankings right here. Make sure you're on your phone as well to tag the Pokemon that you have access to for these, um, for the overall thing. Now, when it comes to um, these other rosters, if you guys didn't know, you can go up to the top and check out leads, closers, and switches. This is a great place to start when it comes to building your teams. Personally, I like to look at leads and switches. So if we take a look at the leads here, there's quite a few that are very, very strong. Jellison being ranked number one. Obviously, Jellison is very strong in all the metas that we do see. Um, and it's going to shine here as well. Now, when it comes to the move set here, I'm I'm teetering towards Ice Beam because Ice Beam can help you out against Mandibuzz um, and Venusaur being two very key matchups um, where if you come back into that, that Ice Beam will really help out. So the Bubble Beam here, I'm not too sure on, but Ice Beam would be very nice. Um, we also have Golbat, Alolan Marowak, Alolan Ninetales, Crustle. All of these are going to be very, very strong leads. They have a lot of great neutral matchups in the one shield, which is very important on the lead because if you can win that, you're looking pretty good. Um, but another thing to take a look at is going to be switches. These are going to be our top Pokemon where if you lose lead, um, so let's say you lead Jellicent into a Mandibuzz, you safe swap into this Pokemon um, to get ahead on energy because they do really well in the mid game. And it comes to no surprise that the poison um, Pokemon are very strong in this mid game. Nidoqueen and Golbat being number one, two, and three, the shadow and normal. And that is due to Poison Fang, applying that debuff um, to get, potentially get a shield bait and then going for shadow ball or earth power, depending what Pokemon you're using, whether that's Nidoqueen and Golbat is very very strong skunk tank is in here as well with crunch and flamethrower you do also have the option of sludge bomb as well if you want to run that but you don't necessarily need it um crunch and flamethrower give you a lot of great um broader coverage right that crunch going to be for the ghost so like jellicent frost last alone and marowak the flamethrower is going to be really nice against the bugs um like wormadam um, and what what have you here so you don't necessarily need it in order to take out an Azumarill um, or, a, char or a, a fairy type Pokemon because you do have poison jab which is going to shred through them but this is where I would look first if you guys are looking to invest in the Halloween cup go to the overall ranks um, tag the Pokemon you have on your roster to see what you have access to come check out the leads to give you some ideas to start that team building and then take a look at switches at which ones you have um 
Pokemon available. Like Frostlass, Sableye, obviously, are, have always been tried and true safe swaps. They do really well and apply a lot of pressure. But Nidoqueen is looking to be the number one um, safe swap. So that might be a hint for you to either use it or have a great counter to it in the back. If we're taking a look at great counters in the back to a Nidoqueen, two stand out um, right away for me. That is going to be Wormadam, Trash, and Venomoth. Remember, Nidoqueen is that poison ground type, so it's going to take a ton of damage from Confusion. Venomoth and Wormadam both have that. It can shred through these matchups. As we're going to see right here, the Confusion damage um, just absolutely chunks. Plus, you only take neutral from the Earth Power because of your typing of Bug Steel, and you're going to be resisting Poison Fang as well. So you don't necessarily have to give up a shield in order to win this. Obviously, as we can see in the Zero Shield, even if they throw the Earth Power, um, you can basically throw that Iron Head, win that mid-game matchup. So those are going to be something to maybe potentially have in the back for all the Nidoqueen Queen safe swaps we will most likely see. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the Halloween Cup. Um, it is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of poison, oh, so many poison users. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to be diving into spicy teams throughout the week for you all, trying stuff out. Alolan Marowak is here, so obviously I got to give my boy a try, but it does have two, it's actually three very big counters in this meta. That is Azumarill, Mandibuzz, and Umbreon, and Obstagoon as well. Um, so it's got uh, some it's got some targets to watch out for, and I know a lot of teams are probably going to have two of these, right? Azumarill and Mandibuzz. I wouldn't be surprised, um, but thankfully you can do well against a lot of other Pokemon. Like we said, Wormadam Trash, right? Hidden in the back. Alolan Marowak can destroy that um, with Fire Spin as the fast move because of that Bug Steel typing. So. There's a lot of play to be had with these Pokemon. And hopefully you guys have a solid roster built already from previous seasons where you have like the top 20 Pokemon. I wouldn't be surprised if most of us don't have a Lolan Grimer XL. I personally don't, but I know um, word on the street is going to be extremely strong in this meta because it's just an absolute monster. Um, but a lot of these you guys should have, right? Azumarill, Umbreon, Jellicent, um, Ninetales, Beedrill, Nidoqueen, Golbat, Mandibuzz, most of us will have those. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's very short and sweet. We're going to be diving into teams tomorrow um, and diving into battles as well. But remember, um, these are the typings if you want to search that string. Poison, Bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy under 1500 and come over to pvpoke.com to check out those rankings to see what's going to be performing well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Best of luck in your battles today and I will see you guys tomorrow with a team building guide for the Halloween Cup. So like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.